was thin, War of the Seventh Coalition, War of the Triple Alliance, the Opium Wars, Italian Unification Wars, versus Wars Now, 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine, 2023 Israel vs. Hamas, 2023 Azerbaijani Offensive, and the Offensive of the No-No Group in Afghanistan. You know, maybe just to play devil's advocate here, perhaps this is a good thing, especially because a lot of these conflicts directly or indirectly caused millions of casualties. It was one of those moments where, for the most part, I am glad I wasn't born in a different generation. This war is hell, if only it was more like wars of the past, back when it was only about honor and short battles. Meanwhile, one century earlier, today I lost 80% of my platoon and I had no other choice but to eat my horse to survive. Probably said something along the lines of there's nothing we could do right before this. Another classic example of do not invade Russia, France learned the hard way. When the ME-262 destroyed 562 allied planes in the entire war, but the allies built on average 280 planes a day. And people wonder why he started to go a little crazy at the end there. He was literally having a Spongebob moment. No matter how hard he tried, they just kept coming. It just wouldn't end. Ha! <laughs> Japan is so strong that we're fighting on multiple fronts at the same time. Three years later. Oh my god, why the freak are we fighting on multiple fronts at the same time? It's almost like that was actually a horrible idea. What's funny is the other Axis members in Europe were going to learn that very same lesson. A basic summary of how the Romans won the first Punic Wars. Sometimes it's really just that easy. What a strategy. What if I just bashed my boat into your boat? <laughs> Simple yet effective. I'm located on the coast with convenient access to trade and fishing, says a new settlement. Ha 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 laughs these pirates. Ha 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 laughs even more pirates. Ah, that is a good one. It was almost just a little bit too easy for him. That explains why a lot of his stories historical cities weren't located exactly on the coast. Political science and law students at St. Louis University from 1948 to 1967 finding out their professor was the dictator of Austria from 1934 to 1938. That would be the most insane classroom. Imagine if your teacher was the former dictator of Austria. I'd have so many questions. Now to be fair, he was opposed to Hilter and Hilter's goal of absorbing Austria into the Third Reich, but yeah, his reign as leader would come to an end because of the Oshlis. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. Meanwhile, Switzerland's reaction to that information, I mean, maybe this is like their initial reaction, but then again, um, probably maybe not. Comrade, we blockaded all of Germany. We might fear the Americans might use an airlift. Don't worry, they have no airbase in Berlin capable of hosting thousands of planes. The only possible way is that they miraculously build one in record time. Meanwhile, the French and Berliners building an airport in less than 90 days, and they look like they had a blast doing it too. <laughs> they were up for that challenge, that's for sure. Apparently the French and Germans together are unstoppable. <laughs> they honor us with the incense says all these Spanish conquistadors. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, uh, we're gonna need some more incense. The Spaniards smell horrible. Oh, is that what was going on? Well, I mean, to be fair, they were closely together, forced onto ships for weeks on end. But then again, maybe that's not the only reason. Maybe there's more to their stink. Ugh, why are there so many Muslims in Austria? We should return to the good old days. When they weren't here, <coughs> the good old days. Let every Muslim subject of I know that the triumph of jihad is calling. Yes, my Kaiser, glory to Allah and Austria. Huh? Remember that during World War One, Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire were on the same side. So after the Ottomans declared jihad against the Entente in 1914, the Austrians decided, hey, we might as well do that same thing, trying to mobilize their own Muslim citizens. Morpheus offering alcohol or Islam. Hmm, I wonder what Bosnia is gonna choose. Did you just take both pills. Why not both? It's all good. Bosnia gets a pass. Hmm, let's look at the countries that were involved in the fall of Constantinople. We have the Ottomans and uh, Serbia. Fight for me. Together we will take Constantinople. Yes, my sultan. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, one of 
the worst things about being English or British is that our culture has been adopted by the world as the global norm. Everyone speaks our language, watches our native sports, uses our common laws. Heads of state wears our suits. This is our culture, not the world's. We in the United States pretty much just need to completely blow ourselves up at this point. It's a giant nation of cultural appropriation. The Scots, when they tried to invade England. The Scots, when they defended England. Scottish soldiers under French command. Finally, Scottish soldiers under English command during the expansion of the British Empire. Oh man, they did not mess around. Literally helped conquer 25% of the globe. Famous movie director Steven Spielberg on set filming the horrors of what the no-no Germans did during WW2. Then Steven Spielberg the very next day looking at and watching over 3D dinosaurs. This was literally his life for a time period in the early 90s. So Spielberg had to make Jurassic Park before making Schindler's List. After principal photography was done with the dinosaur movie, he then traveled to Krakow, Poland, March 1st, 1993. Apparently he revealed Star Wars director George Lucas helped him at the same time when he was filming both these movies the same year. Talk about working on two very different things. Union soldiers watching Ulysses S. Grant about to draw up plans for the next battle. This was not only his secret weapon, but um, I think a lot of people's secret weapon. It's their like, uh, brain juice. <laughs> It's 1991. Do you really think bringing a World War II era battleship is gonna scare the Iraqi army? Kind of cringe, bro. Two seconds later. <laughs> I feel like battleships are one of those things, whether they're from World War II or not, uh, battleship's still a battleship. North Korean artillery position, managing to hit a US ship and causing three casualties. Then the USS Wisconsin being like, I want every gun we have to fire on those malnourished, uh, I don't know what that means. They basically said, remove over there, and they did. They they removed over there. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna declare war on you. No, I'm gonna declare war on you. Are we at war right now? Probably, Sweden responds to Denmark. It's just kind of a given up there, especially between these two. Just, just always assume it, be careful, even today. When Finland became independent, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? As they look at these islands, and Finnish Bilbo Baggins over here still has the one ring to this day. I don't think that's ever going back to Mordor. People these days, Amazon and Apple must be the richest companies in history. The Dutch East Indian Company that had the value of today's GDP of France, Germany, and Japan combined at 7.9 trillion US dollars in today's money. Yeah, uh, this was no joke. Business was booming. George Washington, after spending eight years in office, I'm pretty tired think I'll go home now. I don't know why I gave George Washington a southern accent, it's just I, I can't help but looking at Forrest Gump. Then on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's FDR. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I have another term? <laughs> this US president literally had to die before he stopped getting new terms. This man literally had four terms. Four. I mean, I guess he just thought if he keeps on getting dubs, why not? Discuss the continuing difficulties of Russia transitioning from communism. Discuss the horrific violence occurring in the Balkans, inquire about the success of Clinton's opponent in the recent midterm elections and how that may affect his policy regarding Russia, or do you think OJ did it? These are the options for what do you want to discuss with President Clinton. I guess this man just really wanted to give his opinion on that trial. It was an interesting one. I don't know if I would care if I was the Russian leader though. His first words to Bill was, do you think OJ did it? <laughs> I mean, maybe he was just trying to break the ice. Napoleon is French because France got the land two years before his birth. No, how about Napoleon? Is Italian because his blood is Italian with his parents and generations before having Italian blood. I mean, it is kind of hard to argue with that. I think we can all agree he was definitely a French Italian. What if they're going to cover this in the movie? Medieval king titles in other European countries. We cannot wait to serve your majesty, King Louis the Beloved. Meanwhile, in Poland, can I please have a normal name like the other kings, guys? We should call him Spindleshanks. Sure, LMAO. I I mean, honestly, he should just be grateful they didn't come up with something worse. There's still a lot worse. And big thanks to my patrons this Drew, month. Drew, I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. Carino is best girl. The clone's training is complete and is Frederick approaching. Frederick Dibblin, sleep Lad, without Australia is real. Inquisitor, not Zarius, the Great Ralph, John, John Denver, annoying friends. Zebby, if you hear this, I love you. Good old the Mexican, seven, six, five, ten, Norwalk, Rye, the pie, Caramel, Luxembourg lover. And why am I doing this?